Hey, what's up guys, Kind Conservative Engineer back with another video and this is another one of those questions that everybody asks, does GPA matter for civil engineering? And well, let's look at my GPA first. Let's take a look at my unofficial transcript. All right, folks, so this is my unofficial transcript uh, for my undergraduate school. My, so I did get a bachelor's in civil engineering and I graduated with a whopping 2.993 GPA, almost a three, close but no cigar. Yep, that's it. 2.993 was my final GPA. So as you can see, I wasn't the greatest student. Uh, graduated 2.99. That was like right at the three mark. Somehow made it into an honor society that I didn't really care about and didn't really help me out in the career field. Now, I, I'll tell you right now that for jobs, they want experience. So more than your GPA, if you have any internship experience, that will be weighted a lot more. Every interview I, I, I went through and I did, I did about 10 interviews and literally we, we didn't talk that much about my grades, more about my work experience. They just want somebody that can work. Now, there is an exception. If you want to work for a top design firm, you they will look at GPA. I've seen job offers at top design firms that want a minimum of a 3.4 and in a lot of cases they do want a master's. So again, if you want to work at a top design for, firm straight out of college, get your GPA up. That's the only scenario where I'll be like, all right, listen, you gotta get your GPA up. But for the majority of engineering jobs, listen, I, I work with a lot of sub three GPA kids. We got some kids I work with that are in there like 2.5. As long as you don't fail and you get your degree, you'll be fine in the job market. Listen, employers know civil engineering. Schooling is very, very difficult, especially professors that love failing you. Um, the term C's, the saying C's get degrees actually has some weight in your undergraduate degree because I've seen a lot of C students that are doing pretty well right now and I am a B student or B minus student and I'm doing very well for myself. In my opinion, GPA does not matter unless you want to work for a top design firm and if you are like me that's not the greatest at school, I would highly suggest get an internship, apply to as many internships as you can or just in your interview, just show them that you're willing to work, you're willing to learn, they want to hear, you're willing to learn. Um, if you also, if you have the time, learn, pick up skills that's marketable like AutoCAD, Revit, or get your certifications early. I'm talking about have, have the OSHA ready, have your like scaffolding, maybe a safety course here and there. A lot of employers will pay for it, but if you just do these things early, if you wanna have some certifications earlier, you'll be hired trust me, you'll be hired uh, way more than somebody without any certifications. Like I feel like in a lot of times when I'm looking at people to hire, I look more at work experience and the ability to work and learn more than GPA because we have a lot of smart kids and trust me, we they barely get hours because we got to keep them in the lab. They're only book smart. They can't apply their like street smart and like experience anywhere. So they're really not that profitable. So they end up working in the lab. So again, you have a high GPA, awesome, trust me, you will go places, um, but majority of companies really don't care. Everybody that I talk to just tells me, do you have somebody that's qualified, that can get the job done, that has some work experience? That's mainly what they're looking for. But if you wanna work at a top design firm, you will need a high GPA, I'll tell you that. But my final answer, does GPA matter? For majority of cases, straight off undergrad, it does not matter. But if you want to apply to a master's program, please have high GPA because a lot of master's program do require like at least a B or something. Different schools require different things. So depends where you want to end up. But if you want to end up in just general construction like me, degree does not matter, but that does not mean you should not try hard and get a higher uh, GPA. Please don't take this video as like, oh, I'm just going to slack off. No, do not slack off. You have to pass your classes and at least do decent. All right. Anyways, that's all I had to say. Feel free to disagree. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. You guys have a nice day.